Jessica starting the clock right now. First step, soapy water. I like just Dawn dish soap. I do the back side of the other bead from here and the front side from there. And then spin it around, do the same thing again. Then you don't really have to stop and do it again. You don't want a ton of water down in your wheel, so just make sure sometimes even just putting it on your hand and spreading it around like that. Now's the time to make sure um, and note whether you have a directional or non-directional tire. Obviously these are NDTs, so it doesn't matter. I'm starting with the back side of the rim facing out. You can see this side of the wheel has a deeper well. Just lean it up against your leg like that and force it down inside. Roll it over. The bigger and stronger you are at this part, the better. Oh, that one flopped right in. So that's great. Take note, my valve stem hole is facing up. This is when I like my Jeep bumper. I just rest it right there like that. Get your tube. Some people like to put air in them. That's up to you. I don't. Throw it over the wheel. Start the stem through the valve stem hole. Reach through, take the cap off. Then I like having some sort of valve stem tool that has something to grab onto. Because as we do this, that tube might try to fall inside the wheel. So I'm attaching the valve stem tool to the valve. Give it a little wiggle. Now you're just going to, um, this is kind of an important part, Make sure your tube doesn't get twisted or kinked, but I found if you do it this way, it kind of prevents that because the tube actually fits pretty snugly over the wheel. Okay, So now it's in the valve stem hole. You can see my tool is holding it in place. And now I'm going to set it down on my lap like this. And I'm just gonna take it and keep pushing down on the rim and you'll have room to push the tube up inside the tire without, we're not rolling it over, we're stuffing it up in. Just go a little bit of time. Each time you get a new bite, push your wheel down. You'll have a pretty good view. I'll turn around here, up top, to make sure you're not twisting it. Bunching it is fine. Rolling it and twisting it is not okay. So keep pushing down. Just bunching it and sticking it up there, not rolling it, push down. As you get towards the end of this process, it is going to get tighter because you're not going to have as much room, but uh, rest assured, it will fit in there. And this is the part where I prefer to not have air in the tube because it just takes up more space down, shove it in, the tube is in there, the rim is loose, now's a great time to roll it around and it's really important that it is not kinked or twisted. This one looks good. I was like keeping my valve stem at the top and you can also reach up in here on the front side feel all the way around that there's nothing rolled. It's good. Okay, this is a good time if you don't have soapy water on the back bead or if it took you long enough that it dried up. It's pretty hot here today. Set it face down. Okay, so now we're gonna push the wheel forward and pull the tire back. So we're gonna take our knees and use that Use the body weight to push the tire down over the bead as far as you can. I usually only use one tire tool. Now is an important time to not pinch the tube. So I like to sneak my finger up in here. You can use the hooked end for a little while. I don't want to scratch my wheel and I don't want to pinch my tube. So I'm starting the tool out here where there's lots of slack and I'm sliding the tool over here tiny bites. That's the best advice I can give you. So use your body weight. Tiny bites. Push it down. Use your knees. 
to help you. I come over here, see how I started it here, slid it over, tiny bite. And just like that. If you're doing this in cold weather, sometimes it's a little tougher because your tire will be stiff. But generally a new tire, you're not gonna have any trouble. So once you get it to where it's real tight, the hook won't really work anymore and you want to go with the smooth end. But I like to put the flat side of that down and be careful you don't scratch your wheel. But you know, if you need a little more soap, don't be afraid to soap it up. Don't stick the tool in any farther than you need it because you don't want to pinch the tube. Once you get it to there, give it a pop. Stick it up. You still will be able to look in here. I have space on both sides. So there's no excuse for having a twisted tube. You can still get your hand in there to tw untwist it if you have any problems. So I recommend, I have the stopwatch running, but I would take time and uh, really make sure your tube isn't twisted. All right, so here's exactly why I have this attached because it's a lot easier to pull that out than it is to try to, you know, with having this attached. All right. I don't have the best air truck for this. The kind I would recommend is the kind that threads on, or if you have a buddy who can hold it for you, that would help too. So now carefully take your tool off. I'm gonna use a pair of needle nose, needle nose to hold that. And then I'm gonna use my knee. We're just gonna start putting air in it. Since we're using a tube, we're not worried about the bead seating. The tube will do that for us. So there won't really be a pop that you have with a, with a tubeless tire. When you let go of this, you may notice that will try to sneak back in. Don't get too stressed about it. You're also going to hear a lot of air rushing out. Um, that's just displacement. It doesn't mean you popped your tube, so don't get too worried about that. All right, stopping the clock. Seven minutes and 33 seconds. So that's your first one. By the time you get to the fourth one, you're going to be even faster. And by the time you do your next Jeep, you'll have forgotten everything and you'll have to watch this video again.